We have several works by El Anatsui, but his work that I'm going to be talking about is Erosion, which was done for Brazil in 1992 for the Earth Summit. And they asked these artists and residents to really create something out of Brazilian wood for the conference. And he decided to do this incredible column which really it talks about notions of deforestation and erosion of cultures, erosion of language. When you first walk into the room and you see erosion, you notice that it's a very tall column and it gives you a sense of a towering figure because of the beautiful turning, almost spiral kind of carving into it. It takes on a really sensual form to it, even though there are these very jagged cuts in it. Then as you come around to the side, you start to see the inscriptions that he's put there. It isn't just a sculptural form. You also see that there's wood chips at the base and sawdust, so there's a certain sense of immediacy that this is being, had been done within the last week or so. He's used a chainsaw in order to go right into the medium. He's using tools now that are in his environment, but thought would have a really nice resonance with the idea of deforestation, cutting down the forests in Brazil. And he also incorporates symbols from Ghana, symbols that are seen on cloth and have various proverbs attached to them. There's also symbols that are inscribed that have meaning in Nigeria. The symbols that are carved into the piece really represent the erosion of languages for him. Languages in Africa that are becoming more and more extinct and that he's even creating some of his own symbols that have the same kind of meaning that this extinction of traditional language is part of that sculpture as well. This is really his notion of an artist who can do something and say something. They aren't just passive, they're actually trying to get these statements out there through their artwork.